my name is Kristen Kite and I'm a student here at ASU Mountain Home and I'm here for a little interview about how to get scholarships. Um, I'm just going for my Associates of Arts right now, so my AA degree. Um, I didn't have an immediate direction coming out of high school. Uh, I worked for the radio station and so I thought maybe I could do something, uh, journalism or broadcasting. Uh, but I knew U of A has a program that they have a, even a new radio station that they came out with. So I would like to maybe get in there, see what that's about. And if not, I, um, I'm very interested in psychology. Like that's the thing, I, I kind of wish it was narrow for me. Like maybe, you know, like, oh, I've always wanted to be a nurse. I've always wanted to be um, an eye doctor. I've just, I've never had an immediate direction and you don't have to. When I walked graduation night, 78,000. Uh, my counselor from the very beginning, I know that she was really on us about getting scholarships and applying for anything, even if you're not really sure you fit all the criteria. Just apply for it because a lot of the times they have excess money that they just, you know, they want to give to somebody to circulate for somebody else in the community to be able to go on and put it back because otherwise it's just sitting there. And so for anybody that says, hey, I have dreams, um, I want to be able to achieve it, but I'm not sure if I have the funds, they're there to back you up. And so my counselor was there for me. Uh, different schools around the surrounding areas. I know that they have like certain websites, like uh, the school websites have listed scholarships. And my counselor literally went around, printed out information, and started handing out to seniors, hey, this is one for this, this is one for this. And I just kept it in a folder, recorded them. Um, she kind of gave us like an Excel type spreadsheet and said, put everything down. If they're renewable, when you turn them in, and uh, how much you might get. And so, after checking off each one that I got, it was really rewarding. <laughs> start before your senior year. Start early. Um, there's not a time that you can start too early because I went all the way back towards even seventh grade of clubs I was in, involvement in the school. Um, I was in beta club by then, and it just it showed a lot. You know, it showed a lot of integrity to be able to start that young and move up a resume. So by junior year, for sure, you should have a solid sheet that you say, here's my, I, my extracurriculars, uh, how my GPA is, things that I'm involved in, and then you just have it you know, in a file, and then give a good essay for yourself, a good life story that you can tweak any way that you can do uh, for the basis of who you are, because a lot of scholars are asking who you are, what's your goal, what do you want to do? And then you just kind of do it. 